Hello everybody, welcome back to another AI video. In this one, we're in Bing Image Creator. It's powered by Dolly, and I'm gonna show you how to create unlimited vector images that you can even recolor, all of it for free, and we won't even touch Adobe Illustrator. It's not even gonna be involved. So we're gonna create a bunch of images, as many as we want, get the one we want, we're gonna make it into a vector for free, and then once we have the vector, we're gonna go ahead and recolor it for free. So how do we do that? Let's just start from scratch here. So I'm gonna to go to bing.com, and the first thing I'm gonna do is at the top of Bing, you'll see images. When I click on images, we get a whole bunch of random images, but over on the right side, you're gonna see image creator. That is what we're going for. Click on that, and then presto, you're gonna get this Bing image creator powered by Dolly. So in this one, I'm gonna go with a uh, English bulldog color logo. I'm just gonna go something simple just to show you how it works. I'm gonna click on create. This should take just a few seconds. When it's done, I'll come back. I'll show you the next step. All right, it's done a pretty good job. I kinda like this guy. Oh, I like the guy up here. That's a good looking buller. Okay, good stuff. So now I'm gonna go ahead and save this. So I just clicked on its face and then I get the option to download and then it will download it. Also, I wanna show you something quick clear. You can right click on this image and if you're in Microsoft Edge, yeah, it's a real thing now. You can click right click on the image and you can go ahead and edit the image to some degree. You can click on right click, edit image, and then you can make some changes to the size. You can do some filters, brightness, adjustments, but you can't change the color. But do keep in mind, you can make some minimal changes and filters and things like that. So there you go. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna click download, and there we go, I've got it. Now I'm gonna click on the file. So I'm just gonna go ahead right here, click on this little folder, and let's see what it is. Here it is, I've got the image. You'll notice it says .jpeg or .jpeg. So it's not, rac it's not vector yet. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go to this website, vectorizer.ai. I'm not logged in, I don't have an account. It's completely free, at least at this time. It allows you to turn images into vectors. So I'm gonna drag that image that I just created or that little logo, and I'm gonna drop it right there. And when I do that, it says uploading, and then it processes it, and then it fetches it. How perfect is that, hey? Bang, beautiful. Left side, original image, this is a JPEG. Right side, this is vectorized. It is absolutely fantastic. Now I just click on the download button right like that, and presto, I'm gonna go ahead and click download again, although you can make some changes to it if you're one of those uh, you know, vector types that knows how to do all that stuff, but the download, the standard download is perfect. You'll see here that on the bottom left side, it says now it says dot 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 SVG, scalable vector graphic. When I open it, it also says dot SVG. So we are in business. So now the last step, and I'll have links to all of these websites below, is we're gonna go into firefly.adobe.com. Now, I'm gonna tell you right now, this is free to use. If you have an account, an Adobe account, you can use Firefly for free. So the generative fill, the recolor, the generative recolor, all of this stuff is free. I'm gonna click on generate here under generative recolor. And then now it says here to get started, you can just upload an SVG. And because we just did that quick transfer from JPEG to SVG, I'm gonna drag and drop in our scalable vector graphic. And then I'm gonna describe a color palette. So I want this to be green and blue. I don't know, I'm just gonna randomly do it just to show you how it works. So it's gonna go ahead and think about it and it's gonna recolor that brownish bulldoggy, the standard bulldog, into some sort of green and blue mess. And obviously these aren't very good, but look over here on the right side, you've got more options. So if I want like a salmon sushi, like some of these pre-built options, or I want a trippy disco bulldog, I can just go through them here. I can select different colors. So if I wanted a black version, or if I wanted to try, you know, different types of um, color styles, the default, complementary, analogous, all that. It's all here, and if you don't get what you want, you can always just keep typing it in until you get it. And once you get it, you can just click on it. Like if I like this one here, I like, yeah, let's go with that. All you gotta do is download it. So I'm just gonna go ahead, I'm gonna right click. Actually, I'm gonna go up to the top here. I'm gonna click on the download button. And then presto, we've got a scalable vector graphic. So we went and did this all for free. This will work with Mid Journey, it'll work with Stable Diffusion, it'll work with Dolly, it works with all of the AI image and art generators. Thanks for watching.